said he jockin' cause they know I'm the truth. Material girl. And I get it from my mammy bond name, bust down. These hoes can't stand me. Material girl. Currently working on a Grammy mean while I pussy poppin' with your man in Miami. Material girl. Chanel. What's up, queens and the kings who love us? Guess what? That's right. This is your girl, Queen Candice, in the building, y'all. Hitting y'all with another video, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in, y'all. So guess what? Hit like, hit share, subscribe, and most definitely, y'all, pum pum ping, bust that bell wide open to get my videos, you guys. You know, so y'all already know this video is more so of a lifestyle channel, and we have conversations and sometimes mud bangs, which will be coming up soon too, though. So. You know, getting back on the scene, you, you know, not new to the game, but getting back on the scene and just wanted to, you know, elevate my channel though. And we're working to elevate this channel. Um, guys, um, I am a dialysis patient. So, you know, there will be some times, you know, you will be like, well, oh my God, I hope she's, you know, okay. I'm, I'm going to be okay. You guys, you know, just always pray for me in the right way. You know, that's always pray for me. Excuse me. But yes, you guys, I'm here with another video. And yeah, we're going to go ahead on and do a story time. And again, guys, welcome to my new subscribers, guys. Welcome to my oldies, y'all. Y'all, come on, you know, have a seat, sit down, chill, get you a little something, you know, sip on, drink on, whatever. And we're going to chit-chat for a little bit. As y'all know, um, and this is Atlanta-based, so let's get it. So, y'all, this is dedicated to all my females, but I want my big girls to listen up. <laughs> I've always been a big girl, y'all, and this is my story, but I want all the women to listen up, even men, but I want, in particularly, my big girls to have an ear. You know, even it, but it really goes for the women, too. But I want my big girls to pay attention. Okay, y'all, uh, this is a story time where I was in my early 20s and, you know, you start exploring the world and, you know, being in your 20s, free and free is everything at that time. You know, you're, you're having fun, you're getting to know yourself, you know, you are definitely exploring the world, you're definitely trying to sort out your career choices, all those things in your 20s. So, you know, you already know. So, um, I met a friend through uh, my job and I thought she was real cool. You know what I'm saying? She was from, you know what I'm saying? The same region I was from, you know, the Northeast. So now she lived, uh, down here. So I didn't know it then, but, um, you know, she grew on me, meaning that she clung to me as a friend and, we just started kicking it. So she found out, you know, I had my own vehicle, but I wasn't, excuse me, I had my own apartment, but I didn't have my own vehicle at the time because I wasn't really driving, but I had my own apartment at the time. And um, she was really amazed because I was like uh, 21 at the time, I'm gonna be honest. And um, she was really amazed, whatever the case may be. I didn't know why, but Honey, that's a later story about all that. But anyway, she was. And she was a little older than I was, though. She was more closer to 30 than I was. So she was in her late 20s. And so, you know, she got to kicking it with me, whatever the case may be, because we was from the same region. And, you know, we liked each other's, you know, conversation. So, you know, how you do on a job? You meet friends, you start kicking it. You know what I'm saying? Depending on... If, if that's who you want to kick it with so y'all as we was kicking it though she, you know she would notice that i was a dude magnet and this is the first thing i noticed after it was all over with because then i wasn't noticing girl i'm young having fun thinking i got friends so i'm at work and this guy you know, decided to sit by me, but not around all the other people, though, because, you know, it was women flirting with him, trying to throw themselves on him, and I guess he wasn't that type of guy, and he seen that I wasn't that type of girl, and I was just chilling, you know what I'm saying, in my own reserve, so he sat by me, you know what I'm saying, because we had orientation, stuff like that, so, you know, 
my home girl you know what i'm saying notice oh i see old boy uh sitting by you though you know um he said he like you and stuff like that and let me hook it up blah 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 so she was like really the referee in it and stuff like that though but you know nothing ain't gonna work with me or old dude because i thought it was just you know too much static for me you know what i'm talking about you know i really wasn't that interested like that anyway so that was the first little thing but the kicker box was though you know she knew i knew all over atlanta she knew i knew a lot of hoods in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? She knew I mixed with different people, you feel me? So that's what it was in my 20s. So she lived up in a more ritzy part, you know what I'm saying, of Atlanta, though. So you know, the hood wasn't really, you know what I'm saying, relevant in that area, though. So she knew I stayed, you know, in the city and she knew I knew where all the hoods was. But at that time, I didn't know that's why she was around me, though. That was one of the things that's why she's around me and, and my girls and my big girls you gotta pay attention why folks want to be around you and, and why just listen to the story so yeah so you know after that fell through whatever though you know we started kicking it going on out this that and the third so we're going to tailgate parties we're going to all types of restaurants <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We going around friends I knew in the hood, things down in the third. You know what I'm saying? So she was beginning to meet people. <laughs> she was beginning to meet people. And I noticed as soon as she meet dudes, you know, she's sleeping with them. But I wasn't judging her. You know what I'm saying? I'm 20 something though. So, I mean, I didn't know what it was all about. I just figured you were sleeping with dudes as soon as you meet them quick, quick, quick. And then you get mad because, you know what I'm talking about? you know they weren't kicking it with you no more you feel me so okay i was starting to notice that she was like making comments about my weight you know what i'm talking about because i always been a big girl but 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 i was always curvy too you know what i'm saying there was times baby i don't i don't pump up too much where i had lumps and bumps baby lumps and bumps I don't pump up too much though, but when my weight at a cool 12, 14, oh baby, you can tell this little wine glass a thing or two, but to sit, that's <laughs> it. So she noticed that I, I was a big girl. So she figured if, because she was tall and slender and I was, you know, short and bigger that, you know, even though she knew I was a man magnet, but she didn't think that they was going to be in my face since she was there. So she felt like if she hung around me, she was going to be the one to steal the attention. But what effed her up was that when I came around, baby, the, the, the situation was always a situation, period. Because it wasn't <laughs> what was on me, it was in me. And y'all, I'm going to do a video on pretty privilege some other time. That's why I be getting on y'all about y'all face clap, y'all face card declining. Maybe in your city, and maybe in a lot of other cities, it may not decline. But baby, don't ever think in your life, in every corner of the world, it don't decline. No, because baby, that don't always define. So let's get it point. So I noticed, you know, excuse me, y'all. I noticed that my hands cramping. I noticed that because I'm in my car, baby. I noticed that, that she was making implications about my weight and I'm not tripping about my weight so you know she will say stuff like you know oh you know that's the, oh you eating too much bread and um you know you sure you can fit that you know sh you know sh shit like that you know what I'm saying and I'm like, okay, so time went on and stuff like that, you know, I start to feel that, you know, she really thought she was better than me as far as how about when it came to my weight, because you still was trying to like talk about, you know, make fat jokes and, you know, you would try to, you know, talk about 
you know, oh, you know, your waist is coming down a little bit and stuff like that. And you just wanted to be that girl, but you really hung around me all because I was really that girl. I was the one bringing you around the dudes in the hood. I was the one you wanted to be around her because of, you know what I'm saying, the magnet I was. It wasn't never you because she always tried to make it like it was about her. She was always comparing herself to me. And I'm just like, baby, we, we two different people. You know what I'm saying? We two different people. And so, and it was like every time a dude she was interested would come around, oh, I like him. So, you know, don't, don't be trying to be, I'm like, girl, I'm not on every guy that uh, uh that's in my circumference, honey. Oh, you know, I like him. You know, she just say that just to keep keep me from second guessing and, and all this other but 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 sweetheart if i really wanted that nigga the all he had to do was say what he had to say and if i was feeling it i was feeling it you know what i said see i could have been that type of girl but i was never that type of girl i always respected people's boundaries but baby just for you boo i will have crossed that line since you jealous like that yeah. you know what i'm talking about that was that was that was that was just the old me y'all but and then another thing, you know, I would notice her her doing thank you, I lost track. And another thing I had, you know, no notice her doing, you know what I mean? You was just trying to always cop block when certain guys would would try to say something to me. You know, and I, I never understood it back then. You know what I mean? I, I just was thinking like, dang, you know, why are you tripping? You know what I'm saying? And it was like it got to the point to where I had to let her know, like, ma'am, you're doing too much. You're doing too much, though. So I, I was starting to believe and it was starting to resonate that, you know, you was only hanging around me because of my good energy. You know what I'm saying? you know, and that I was a male magnet, you know what I'm talking about? That I knew how to get around the ATL, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Because I had my own spot. You know what I'm talking about? And, um, you only was around me just to make yourself a little better though because of your complex. And y'all, she had a beauty complex. So she will always try to throw off uh, dark skin stuff and light skin stuff onto me. I'm just like, doll. Even back in the day, even though I was born in the 80s, raised in the 90s, y'all. And the light skin, dark skin was for real, baby. I was always raised to let let to be let known my brown sugar always melts, baby. My brown sugar is the sweetest chocolate and vanilla. Like serious, it's like I never got caught up <laughs> in the I'll be sure and the key sweat shit ever in my life ever so you are so y'all already know i'm telling my age i want to say oh boy off of um immature is it lbc back of the day versus whoever baby bye like what is you saying what how am i supposed to feel and she used to always say oh you act so light skin you act like a light skin chick and i'm like how baby how am i supposed to act so the fact that i'm big fat and black y'all I wasn't supposed to be acting the way I was supposed to be acting. I wasn't supposed to be acting like I was Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Oh, I, I wasn't supposed to be acting fresh. I wasn't supposed to be on my ones and twos. I wasn't supposed to be feeling myself. I wasn't supposed to be dripped out. All because I was big, fat, black. <laughs> and big, fat, and black to you. So now I'm acting like a light-skinned chick. How? Who, who, how, 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 does, how does that one act? I've seen a lot of light-skinned chicks. I've been in a counter, a lot of stuck up light skin chicks, but not all light skin chicks was like that. I've been around stuck up dark skin bras. Come on. So, I mean, I'm trying to figure out here. So, ladies, don't allow another woman's insecurity, uh, you know, intercepting yours, or, or don't don't witness another woman's insecurity and just be quiet about it. You know what I'm saying? Point it out for what it is you know, help her get over her issue, you know what I mean, as far as supporting her as a friend, and that's something she can't do in the inside, you can't live her life for her, 
But girl, I was so over that. I was like, oh no, girl. And then it was starting to become a competition. This last one I'm about to go. Girl, we would go places. And, you know, we would be talking with guys together, though. You know what I'm saying? Talking to guys together, having a good time. But I'm like, oh, girl. You know what I mean? I, I, I said, I got to go to the bathroom. I'll go to the bathroom or get something on my back. I come back and she was like, oh, this guy was on me. This guy was talking to me, that guy. And I'm saying to myself, so damn, what was all these, you know what I'm saying, ninjas when I was gone, when I was there? Oh, all of a sudden, you use a mail magnet when I leave. So I was like, oh, no, I can't deal with this. So it was a whole year of that. And then that's when I really got into modeling. And she was trying to get into modeling. And I was like, y'all, for real, for real, I feel like I don't do haters no favors. The only favor I could do a hater is just bless them. Meaning that bless you. I bless you the best in life and keep it moving. Anything that's on my table, you will not eat off of. You will not break bread with me. And I'm sorry. So I just wasn't trying to get her up on what I was doing, whatever kiss with me when I first started modeling because you was hating. I, I was seeing all the signs. You talk about my way constantly. You know what I'm talking about? It was always a comparison thing with you. You know what I'm saying? Back and forth. And, you know, you always, you know, thinking somebody wanted to do that you wanted. And then, you know what I'm talking about? It was just too much. Too much. And I'm just like, girl, but this is not a friendship. So, I put her up on her shit. Called her out on what was up. And so, we got into it, though. So, girl, when... And listen, y'all. Listen. When people get mad with you, baby, they tell you what they really want you to know, how they really been felt about you. So, girl, this is back then before FaceTime, Facebook, and all of this stuff, I believe. Yeah, it is. So, we was just texting, you know, cussing each other out back and forth. Yeah, I was that petty back then. So, she sends me a picture with this SSBBW woman. You know, she was really, really dark, and, and there's nothing wrong with that, but... It was the fact that you was trying to send me self-hate pictures. Like, I was supposed to be so upset because you sent me that picture. Well, this is what she looked like. This big, fat, and black mother, blah, blah, blah. You look like this big old blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? And so, in the black community, we have a lot of self-hate when it comes to our complexion. Baby, I will not be that girl. And then you have will not have such conversation <laughs> like that around me. And as we're having a discussion about uh, uh, an adult in, 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 in a very, very intellectual conversation about what went on in history, honey. Other than that, I'm not damn interested and I don't care. So, this is where I get the moniker fat, black, and beautiful, though, because I want my big, dark skin women, you know what I'm saying, my dark manly women to love themselves as who they are. God made you the way you want to be, and if you want to lose weight, you can lose weight. If you're happy at the weight where you are, baby, don't let nobody else's insecurities, problems, issues, and beliefs and ideologies bum you down, sis. So, yeah, girl, I had to finish her, girl. You know what I end up doing? Honey, please. I just let her know, baby, you could never, ever, 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 ever bump with me no more. I don't want to have nothing to do with you. And back then, I think we we, we did have the Black Yana. Or, nah, we probably changed numbers. Baby, I changed my number. I changed my number, though. And those was many of the story times that I do have for y'all when it comes to women and about your weight and about your complexion and things like that. I'm just so sick of the insecurities going on. I'm so tired of being on around women that has that type of stuff going on and think that that's supposed to be me too oh no ma'am no ma'am i walk around here like i'm beyonce baby renaissance yes ma'am cardi b Nicki minaj and those all above i am who i am god made me who i am and yes ma'am if i need to um uh, you know dress it up or do what i got to do baby i'ma love me and yes indeed baby i'ma definitely tell y'all about a good self love video that y'all can definitely vibe off of be the vibe be your own vibe f them forget them be happy about you this is your body this is your skin this is your bones baby you better cherish everything about it Damn those opinions, baby. So it's out, it's over, it's in, it's done. Be sure to follow me on TikTok or Queen Game TV. And also follow me on Instagram at Queen Game Official, baby. Queen Game Official. Zeus is...